Global warming and climate change have become issues that require our immediate action. Uh, we know that we have to use more renewable energy, and even though technological advancements have made renewables slightly less expensive, uh, there are still various financial and um, geographical barriers that prevent us from using renewables at large scale. Uh, but that said, we now have access to a whole lot of um, more energy efficient machines than we did in the past. So um, that should technically keep us good in our fight against climate change, right? Um, yes, but sometimes energy efficiency can be a paradox. Usually, um, when it becomes uh, cheaper to use a commodity, we are likely to use it more often. Uh, for instance, uh, if our cars become more efficient at burning fuel, we are, or in other words, if it becomes cheaper to drive, we are likely to either make more trips or make longer trips or both. And if we keep doing that, there comes a point where we would have consumed more fossil fuel than we did in the past over a given amount of time. Now, doesn't that actually beat the purpose of fighting climate change, right? Um, but just because uh, we do not have access to renewable energy um, at the price that we want, it doesn't mean that there's nothing else we can do up until that point. What we can do is to uh, strive towards uh, reducing our dependence on non-renewable energy. And one of the starting things that we need to do uh, to reduce our dependence is to simply measure our energy consumption on a regular basis uh, because as the old saying goes, what gets measured gets managed, right? Um, when I started working as an energy engineer at my university, uh, I was a part of an energy conservation project. It was actually a competition and we know that uh, sometimes competitions can be great motivators to, uh, to, to doing great things, right? Um, this competition was not very different from that. The idea was simple. Measure the energy people consume and convey it to the people, but make it fun and make it competitive. Um, at my university, we measure the energy consumed by each building uh, throughout the year. And on my campus, students live in buildings that we call residence halls. Um, in 2018, we picked a four week period and we calculated the total energy consumed by each residence hall uh, during that period. This became our energy baseline. Uh, and then in 2019, in the same four week period, we challenged the residents of each of these buildings or the students that lived in these residence halls uh, to consume less energy than they did in the previous year. Um, that's it, that was the gist of uh, the, the entire competition. And the building that had the highest reduction uh, won the competition. The students that lived in the, uh, the building that won this competition got prizes related to sustainability. Um, and I can tell that without getting into a whole lot of maths and formulas and conversion, in just four weeks, uh, this project, this competition had a massive positive impact. Um, and it, it was fun because students kind of got involved in the, uh, the whole competition. They got engaged uh, in the dialogue about climate change and energy conservation. Um, on the other side, we knew uh, how much energy each building saved. We knew how many students lived in each building. So therefore we were able to calculate um, the savings that each student was responsible for on an average. Uh, and then we were able to also uh, convey the broader impact that this competition had um, in terms of uh, carbon emissions, greenhouse gases, et cetera, et cetera. Um, these competitions are not anything new. They've been done in the past. Uh, but my concern is that uh, they're not done enough. They're not done often. Uh, but the, the thing is that competitions like these should be easily replicatable, right? Um, that said, I do understand and recognize that uh, the competition that we had was based on the fact that people live on campus and maybe um, on your college campus, students don't live on site. So does that mean that this competition cannot be replicated to your college? No, that's, that's not the case. Um, maybe in, in your college, 
uh, buildings are occupied by different departments, in which case this competition could be a, an interdepartmental competition, uh, wherein departments one, two, and three compete against each other, and uh, they also compete against departments X, Y, and Z. Um, or maybe this could be a first year students versus second year students and so on and so forth. I think there are various ways to get creative with this competition to apply it to your specific university and your specific college. Um, sometimes starting a competition could, could seem daunting um, and that's fine. In which case, uh, the least we could do is install one energy meter per building and convey the energy consumed to the students um, because some awareness is better than none, right? Uh, and it's very important to get students involved because students uh, of the present are going to be leaders and policy makers and decision, decision makers um, in the future. And therefore, it's very important to get students involved in a dialogue surrounding climate change and energy conservation. Now, maybe you're not a student. What do you do then? Um, and that's a good thing, that's, that's a good question to ask. Um, this could in fact be taken to a next level, to a next step, and this competition could actually be a community-wide event. Um, let's say that you live in an apartment complex that has, I don't know, five blocks. Uh, blocks A, B, C, D, and E. And let's say that each block has five houses. Now, in that case, there's no uh, necessity to even install meters because um, each house already has a, an energy meter. Each house already receives uh, a, a monthly bill. Uh, with a little bit of initiative, uh, this could actually become a housing complex, energy conservation competition, whatever you want to call it, right? And in fact, um, a housing related competition could have much more uh, um, savings than an educational institution could have in that short amount of time. Um, I recognize that uh, the climate crisis that we have on hand um, requires a whole lot of attention, requires a whole lot of effort. Uh, so if none of what I told you applies to you, the least that you can do, that I can do as an individual, is to compete against myself. You can compete against yourself. Um, what we can do is look at our energy bills and say, this month I got this much, next month to the best of my abilities I'm going to try and consume less energy. Uh, maybe it could be on a monthly basis, on, on an annual basis, whatever the period applies uh, to you. So all it takes is to just get started um, and we could start small. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, it doesn't have to be anything big, we just have to start small and um, measure our energy consumption. Uh, and that could take us a long way. And, and like I said, remember, what gets measured gets managed. Thank you.